This is Sam O'Reilly for Boxing Social in association with Betfred. I'm at the BT Sport Production Hub today for the Ultimate Boxer Draw. Delighted to be joined by de de delighted to be joined by Josh Ekafovi. Jack uh, Povey. Jack Povey, excuse yeah. me, Hollywood Josh. Yeah. It's, a, it's a lot easier for us, I guess. Hollywood Josh. Um, how are you today, sir? Yeah, very good, very good. And your draw? Were you happy with it? When you looked at the draw beforehand, if yeah. you could have picked a guy, was there a specific route you'd have liked to have taken? Or um, to be honest, you're going to come up with against any of them. So you just got to be ready to fight anyone. So whoever it was, that was the least of my, you know, the least of your concerns. Yeah, exactly. The question I had for you, obviously, you've boxed for the Southern Area title. Yeah. Um, and this is a very, very different format. It goes without saying that mm. you know, there's guys in this competition that are four and zero, or they've had just four round fights. You've had ten round. You know, and this is a very, very different format. Why did Why did you decide to enter this tournament? Um, loads of reasons. I think it's good to get yourself out there, and I think um, there's definitely it's a good opportunity and you know what when opportunities come you got to ask yourself am I going to take it or am I going to let it pass by am I going to let it sell by and I think that was an opportunity I felt like I had it in me as a fighter because as a boxer no matter what the circumstances are whether it's 12 rounds 10 rounds 2 rounds you're always trying to get them out from the first round yeah. that's the attitude you've got to have any opportunity you've got to take it so to me that made no no, no difference what format the competition was do you think that having that 10 round distance under your belt do mm. you think that could give you a, I mean an advantage of sort because you know you've done it for a long period where a lot of these guys have only done four rounds in one night you've done the mm. ten do you think that could be an advantage in your favour? Definitely I know how to pace myself for a ten round fight and I also through my amateur career know how to pace myself for a three round fight so I think it just adds to the levels yeah. of experience You're boxing Khan Hawes in the first round in the quarter final yes. um, he's been in this tournament before I'm guessing he's hoping that that's a, a positive in, in his mind do you believe with the uh, you know you've touched on it but it's a very it's, it's, it's it's quite strategic as well because mm. you have to pace yourself but you don't want to you don't want to give up rounds especially exactly. in a three round fight so yeah. do you believe that you have the right mentality and the right game plan on the night to, to go ahead and do this because 100%, it's a 100% I think you have to always tailor your training to all the eventualities that could happen the worst case scenarios and the best so I think based on my training that's where my confidence comes so yeah I'm definitely ready and all my experience through training I think should get me through yeah Khan Hall is, as I say he's, he's, a, he's a guy who's been in this format you haven't as such but you believe your style is is suited for this tournament I think my style is suited for any tournament any boxing situation I think I've got the style to cause problems for anyone okay you uh, are you training full time do you work, do this boxing around at work or what's, what's your current situation pretty much full time yeah so everything kind of works around boxing apart from when you're acting apparently yeah <laughs> they were talking, you were in a in big movie Tarzan you were in talk to me about how that came up um, no I've always done I've always I'm always somebody who thinks I can do a bit of everything uh, acting I've done a bit of art but um, I've kind of pushed that to the side because you can be any age and, and tamper with these things as you know, people like Morgan Freeman Samuel Jackson what age are they, what age are they? Yeah. so um, I think for boxing you've got to use your youthful exuberance and I think at this stage I've had to just focus on this but I've still got that in the, in, in the, the tank in the tank <laughs> I can come out any moment <laughs> um, when you uh, sponsors do you have guys that help you out at this stage because there aren't many guys that can do, afford to do this full time at this stage mm. of their career that's, that's, you know, that's the honest truth of that it true, yeah. guys that are in small hall do you have guys that are supporting you and I've got um, close people around me that make sure they help out in certain areas I'm part of the secret boxing gym and they really help me out with a lot of situations in terms of like food clothes all situations they're always there and they kind of manage me a bit and I'm there every day and it's such a good relationship with them so yeah, yeah. and it's a good location so it's a good location easy to get to you know I'm pretty much there all day this, um, this tournament is it's catapulted people it's put people on the forefront of, of people's minds you know whether it be sponsors or or upcoming fights that, that they're then in the forefront so this can catapult you is your immediate plans to get back a southern area title fight or where, where, do, where do you want this to lead to to be fair to catapult me in a position I was already in doesn't necessarily make sense but I definitely want to use this opportunity if I win this to go for anything I'm at a stage now where I think the experience I got from that supposed loss I feel like uh, I'm ready for anything now and I think that will show in a tournament you sound like you, 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 uh, you believe you won the fight against Sean Roberts Look, I don't think I performed well but I definitely don't think I've lost that fight so uh, that's not really a fight where I'm looking at as a oh my gosh I've lost and it's uh, if anyone's looking at it as if they're looking at that defeat as uh, to overlook me I, I really hope they do to be fair but for me personally that was a, a situation where I didn't really perform well to the best of my ability and even at that I don't think I lost yeah. but yeah. is revenge 
revenge on your mind. There, there was talk, Bunty said it, if you both get to the final, it's possible you could meet Sean Robinson in the final. Is that one you want back? Do you feel like you want a bit of redemption on that side, or is that is that irrelevant to you? Look, to me, personally, like I said, I think I lost that fight. If, it, if the fight was lost, I think it was down to me and how I performed. Mm -hmm. And uh, look, what's the point of beating him and then losing to someone else? I'm here to beat everyone, and there's no face on my opponent. I'm just going in there to win, and whatever it is, it is. That should be a very good night of boxing. I, I wish I you the very best oh, of luck. So I'm going to get it right this time, Joshua Jack Povey. Wow, well done. Yeah, well done. I shouldn't have got it wrong the first time. I'm very disappointed in myself. It was a pleasure talking to you, sir. Love you, sir. And I wish you very much the best of luck on the night. Perfect. Thank you for talking to Boxing Thank Social. You.